all right so here we are in our adobe premiere pro 2018 okay but this the method i'll be showing in this video works for any version whether it's cs6 um adobe premiere pro cs6 or adobe premiere pro cc 2018 2017 2019 even 2020 version this method works all right so the first thing you're going to do is to open or start a new project so you go to file and then new all right project all right okay so it's going to open a new dialog box for me all right so now name you can of course use any name or you can leave it at the default okay so i can just say um okay i can i can just label the green screen all right now um i think you can leave other settings other default settings okay then you click okay all right so you wait for your adobe premiere pro interface to load up all right so our adobe premiere pro has opened okay this is the um okay the interface now the next thing is to go back to file all right and then you now import the video with the green screen okay so you go to file all right you click and then select import that's Control i okay so it takes you to your computer where you have your video files okay so i think uh, let me just locate the video file i wish to use for this um, tutorial project okay i think i like um okay okay let me just stick with this um subscribe okay so this is the video i wish to use all right so we have successfully imported our video file to our adobe premiere pro but it's not showing here so the next thing you do you and um, where you see this double arrow here you click and then you select project green screen okay project that's the project name you um you used in um, saving your project earlier okay or in creating your project earlier okay but mine is green screen so i just select it here all right good so this is the video file i just imported so you um take your mouse or your cursor to where the file is and then you click and then drag it okay you drag it to here now this place where the um cursor is right now is called the sequence all right your sequence or your work area right so now you see that the cursor has changed to um a, a palm with a plus sign okay so you let go of your mouse okay and then you see that what your video has added or uh, has been added to your timeline okay all right so now you see that this video has a green background okay all right this video has a green background all right now as this um video is now we can't use this project like that okay uh, because it, it's going to leave that this green background on our video okay? okay so let me just show you what i'm talking about i'm going to import another video all right um okay go to import all right so let me go to one of my already edited videos okay so i'll show you what i'm talking about here okay good okay all right so this is one of the videos i just edited uh, you know my previous project so i click to open another sequence because i don't want to um, import this video on this on the same sequence as this green screen though you can if you want to but i just want to do it you know do a very neat job so i have to open a new sequence all right so you, so you go to file new and then sequence all right so you can give your file name any sequence or just click ok whichever one okay so now this is our new sequence all right all right so you can rename your sequence by double clicking here where you have your project file here you can double click here okay just the where you have the file name you can double click there and then select okay so you can give it any name so i can just say maybe main video so as to differentiate okay this one from the other one all right now i repeat the same process drag the video to your to the interface here all right now this is the video we wish to okay render or to edit and all that or the video we wish to apply this green screen effect now if okay i add this green this um okay youtube uh, green screen um video on the main video you're going to see that what it leaves okay a green background all right so you see that what well, leaves a green background on our video let's come and reduce okay let's come here and reduce the size of this okay so you see it leaves a green 
background on the video which is not professional now okay you just go and just come here and delete how do i remove this green um, background from this subscribe um okay effect or subscribe video so as i can use it on my project now it's a very very interesting trick okay so just pay attention all right so i come to this double arrow here again okay here again and i go to effects all right effects here take note i go to effects let me just repeat the process i click this double arrow here and i go to effects all right now you come down to um video effects this folder now you have about six folders here okay the one before the last one that's your video effect not video transition video effects all right then you click all right okay now in this search now you see what there's a search bar here okay a search bar here so you click here and type ultra key ultra u l t r a k e y all right all right so now you see what under video effect there's a folder called king and inside of that folder there is a tab called ultra key which is what we searched for here all right so you, you come here okay look at okay bring your cursor to where you have your ultra key all right click once and then drag it and place it on top of the video so you see that what a new tab uh, like a, a a menu pop up pops up here okay under effect control all right it will just automatically pop up once you added uh, once you add your your ultra key to your video okay it automatically pop up pops up rather now what do you do next now you scroll down okay where you have key color all right you have what key color now you just select this eyedropper um menu okay the eyedropper icon here select it and then okay ensure that what your menu your um option here is set to composite and setting is default all right composite and default so you you take your key your eyedropper icon all right now take it just click the green part of the video on your on on this small monitor here this um, little screen here click the green part using now you see that what right here when you, when you select your um green here the color on your key color will change to green right there i'm sure you notice that it's not green so you click here once okay click where you have this um, green background once wow you see your green um background is off the videos now you can now apply this video to whatever um, project okay to the project you are working on all right so now you come here all right now you click the video on your timeline okay which is your sequence here you click it and then drag it like this to your project all right and then once you drop the video on your uh, project you're working on you let go all right good so this is it all right so you can see that when i take my the um you know indicator to the video you see that it doesn't give me that green background again because it's out okay it's out already okay or if you want to reduce it further you still go right ahead just indicate okay you just um, take your cursor and then scroll i'm sorry about that why is it not working okay good so you see that what when you scroll right it increases when you scroll left the value reduces all right so you can okay scale it down to whatever size you want all right then you can also position it okay 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 so you can okay let me scale it further Sometimes this thing doesn't work. I don't know why. Okay. Let me scale it further. Okay. Now you can also bring it downwards. Okay. Where you have this position, you can either bring it down or take it up, whatever position you wish. But I think I just want it here. All right. So let's see how it looks now. So when I take it back and play the video, let's see what happens. Okay. So as you can see, the green screen is no longer there. All right, so this is how you remove green screen, okay, using your ultra key function in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm sure you had value from this video. If you did, please give the video a like. 
okay share the video and of course subscribe to my channel so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe